of Hypno 101. For those of you who are interested in hypnosis, everybody can be hypnotized. And there are different levels of hypnotic states, but those who have been hypnotized before are better at being hypnotized more quickly and deeply, which is why I called them up. You're going to see some cool phenomenon up here. A lot, it was Eliza, correct? Eliza, I'm going to have you come up here. We're going to take a seat in the middle. Alrighty, give me a second here. So you guys all had a good time. You were all hypnotized in May. All right, some of you remember it, some of you don't, but that's all right. So everybody, uh, take this all in, watch and learn. All right, Ainsley, take a big breath of air in, inhale and sleep all the way down, going loose and limp and collapsing your body, relaxing even more, allowing yourself to relax all the muscles in your neck and back, relax even more, holding tight there for a second. What are we doing, Emory? I like your shirt. What's on it? I think a clown. Did you make that? No, I Oh, take a dip. Take a big breath of air in. And sleep all the way down. Loose and limp and collapsing your body. Relaxing even more. Relaxing the muscles in your back and neck. Relaxing even more. Holding this position here and letting go. Now we have Eliza. You ready? Inhale. Exhale and sleep all the way down. Loose and limp. No hands. Eliza, relaxing your back, neck, allowing your hands to fall, droop down in front of you into a comfortable position. What do y'all think? <laughs> Big round of applause for Ainsley, Emery, and Eliza. But before we go further, next I do need somebody, this time, who hasn't been hypnotized before. Hold on, hold on. Also somebody who is a big, strong person, most likely an athlete, somebody who doesn't have injuries. All right. So we're gonna do a little bit of hypnotic demonstration. So uh, everybody, do you guys know each other yet? Great, well this is gonna be show and tell with your own classmates. So what's your name? Henry, where are you from, Henry? Missouri. Missouri? Okay, right on, Midwest. I'm from Iowa. Have you guys heard of it? Yeah. Spring break. So, now, this is Henry, right? Yeah. Okay, so do you play sports at all? Yeah, I You play basketball, so do you have to lift for basketball? Yeah? So, uh, you're pretty strong, you like to think? Can you? Yeah, we're fine. All right. Do you think that you can lift me? You said that confidently. All right, hold on a second. Yeah. Now, we all know that hypnosis is a mental state, but the mind controls the body. As a hypnotist, I can get into your head to control your body. Do you believe in hypnosis? Yes. You've been hypnotized before? No. Well, do you want to try? All right, now, you guys will find that when I snap my fingers, Henry will no longer be able to lift me like you just saw because all the strength is completely robbed from his body. Give me one second here. Clapping and make it 
some noise, that means you're open to the idea of hypnosis. And if you want to be a candidate on stage, you know, you'll be pretty good. But for those of you who didn't see your fingers move together at all, that's all right. All that means in the hypnosis world is you have to stand up and just leave. I'm sorry. <laughs> now, without further ado, I will be calling people on stage. We have all the gaps in between Emery, Eliza, and Ainsley. They're looking pretty good right now. But I'm gonna use my handy dandy spotlight. underneath your chair. Reach down, write your name bigly, bigly, write your name bigly, write your name big and clear on the name tag so I can read it in a little bit. With that, we have three chairs left. Maybe somebody over here. We got you in the white shirt. Oh, one more. One more. One more. We have one more chair left. Blue shirt. Blue shirt. Blue shirt. Blue shirt. Blue shirt. There you go. Come on up. Hold on. We've got you here. I think those are all of our chairs. All right, everybody, when you're done writing your name on your name tag, just place the markers underneath the chair. We don't want anyone slipping later. And you could, yeah, just put it on, and then you could just toss the paper under the chair as well. I'll get those later. So I'm going to go down. You guys said you don't know anybody here yet, but I need to get to know them, as do you. You're going to be spending all year with them, so we're going to have some fun. We already talked to him here. But this person I have here, so we have Sky. Hello, Sky. Uh, you excited? Have you been hypnotized before? You excited? Right on. Very cool. So excited. I love it. Sarah, yeah. awesome. Tell me a fun fact about you. She's a vegetarian. Right on. Very yeah. California. I'm here. All right. That's great. We've got Ava. Hello, Ava. And we've got Lily. Hello, Lily. Next, we have Brady. What does your shirt say? Because it's covered. Howler Bros. What's that? It's a brand. Right on. Tell me a fun fact about you. You play basketball. Right on. Then we have Steve-O. Right on. So, uh, is it Steven? Or it's Steven. But do people call you Steve-O? All right, so after the Jackpot documentary, I'm not allowed to swear. I don't trust y'all. What? Oh, team, where's Marcus? No. You can't hypnotize me. Okay, we're over here. Steve, oh, thank you. Now we have, is that Maya? Well, hello, Maya. Very cool. I like your top. Very hippie chic. I'm into it. Pearl. I like the name Pearl. I've actually never met a Pearl. Who's that? You got a fan club already. You're a star already. Right on. So now we have Autumn with two M's. Is that on your birth certificate? Really? Your parents are feeling snazzy? My mom off the epidural. <laughs> Tripping on the epidural, y'all. Is that a thing? <laughs> All right, now we've got MJ. All right, so uh, very cool. Tell me a fun fact about you. You're a Capricorn. All right on. Do you guys believe in astrology? Yes. I'm into it. Your names are meaningless and you still respond to it. Was that too deep for y'all? Check me after college. All right, Leo. Very cool. I like your shirt. Is roses on it, I think. No, that's fine. It's kind of a floral print, which is not roses, which is fine, I guess. Tell us a fun fact about you. You have two moms. That's cool. Very progressive. I like it. You're in the future. You live in the future. All right, now we have Zane. Yeah, see, this is why I do this. You know, Zane. All right, very cool. Did you choose Zane, or is that how you were given by birth? Well, you're, was your mom high on that epidural, too? No, you have no idea. All right, so tell me a fun fact about you, Zane. You love sunglasses. All right, that works, so you can see through them. Do you have, like, a whole collection of sunglasses? You got three? Okay, just rotate. Makes sense. Normal. All right, everybody, give the first of many big rounds of applause for our volunteers. 
All right, for those of you not Emery and Eliza and Ainsley, everybody else, we're going to approach that hypnotic state here shortly. But I need everybody to get in proper position. Make sure your phones are turned in airplane mode so that you don't get any distractions. On that note, what we're about to do is called the induction. It is the most important part of the show. That being said, um, do not make any distractions during this. Please try not to sound like a diva right now, but it's very important that this next few minutes go smoothly. If there are any distractions, it alters the rest of the show. So please do not videotape during this part. Do not take any photos. Do not call out anybody's name. Uh, do not, and try to, you know, Keep to a minimum in your spot over there. Okay, so everybody get in proper position. So what you're gonna do, put your feet flat on the floor. Everyone rest your hands on your lap. Take a big breath of air in, inhale, and exhale. Now everybody on stage whose eyes are open currently, you're going to shift your attention now to the very top. You'll notice that that, well, after the bell goes away. It's a nice cue, I should have embedded that in there. All right, now everybody, you see that there, that tower or that, uh, the ceiling that here you see that so everybody you're going to fix your gaze your attention onto that ledge that ceiling and focus on your breath inhaling and exhaling actually before we go further one thing I did forget does I does anybody know each other very close up here oh, you two you two <laughs> convincing all right I'm gonna have you switch with you Bye. Take it back. Nope. Let's go. And uh, let's see. How do we? Who do we have? Know each other? We've got anybody else? Okay. You switch with um, you here. All right. Anybody else know each other up here? All right. Great. Fabulous. Everybody now on stage, shifting your attention up to the ceiling there, that red bar. Everybody inhaling and exhaling making your breath as steady as possible, fixing your gaze only on that spot and that spot alone. Inhaling one, exhaling two. Now everybody on stage, redirect your focus to my voice. You'll find it's a very relaxing voice, and the more you focus on it, the more relaxed you become. I'm going to count down from three to one. With every number I descend, simply double the state of body relaxation you are in. Three, doubling the state of body relaxation. Remember, this is a part that you do to yourself. Every one another, big breath of air in, inhale, exhale. Two. Just continuing to focus on my voice. And at any point during tonight's show, you find that somebody may lean on you or you lean on somebody else. Just allow that to relax you even more. And <laughs> one. Continuing to relax. Focusing more on my voice. As from here on out, all you have to do is guide you step by step. Guiding you step by step. Breathing even more. Now as you hear this beautiful piece of music, you allow your eyes to get heavier and heavier. As you notice the need to blink a little bit more, you might notice that more saliva will form in your mouth, and that's totally fine. Maybe feeling the need to swallow a little bit more. Focusing only on that spot and listening to my voice as those eyes get heavier and heavier. In a moment, you'll be hearing the sound of ocean waves. And as the ocean waves flow into your body, relaxing you even more. Those ocean waves taking you down, down, down. Relaxing every muscle, every fiber, every nerve, and every cell. Now, as you continue to focus on that spot, your eyes will be getting tired. 
even start to burn a little bit as your eyes get heavier and heavier. You'll want to close your eyes. Now close your eyes and allow your eyes to close and with that your head to go down, down, down so that your chin touches your chest. And as your chin touches your chest, allow every muscle, every fiber, every nerve and every cell in your body to relax you even more. Letting go, letting go. Once again, you'll hear that beautiful piece of music. And as that music gently touches your ears, allowing once again you to physically, emotionally, and mentally relax. Now in a moment, I'm going to come around and you'll feel a slight tug on your wrist. When you feel that, allow yourself to relax even more as that hand plops on your lap like a rag doll. Everyone on stage. Everyone on stage, I'd like you to imagine in your mind's eye the most beautiful, comfortable place that you go to relax. Maybe this is your bedroom. Maybe this is the beach. Wherever you go to relax, imagine that place in your mind's eye now. And at any point during tonight's show, if your mind begins to wander, just visually in your mind, go back to that place, fixing your attention there. Everyone on stage, on the count of three, you're going to physically lift your arms up over your head. One, two, three. Lifting your arms physically, lifting them up, up over your head. Now, in a moment, you're going to feel another tug on your wrist. This time you will also hear the command of sleep. Upon hearing this command, you will go loose, go limp, and collapse your body into this wonderful, relaxed state. stage, relaxing all the muscles in your back and neck, finding a wonderful relaxed position similar to one you are now. Get cozy, get relaxed, because from here on out, everything that I say is your automatic immediate reality and you act upon it immediately. Also, anytime you hear the command of sleep, you will immediately go loose and go limp back into this position you are now. Anytime you hear noises from the audience, that's okay that will just serve to deepen the trance that you're in. Not doing anything until I say so or allow you to do so. But everybody relaxing here now, they are in a trance, everybody in the audience, but that doesn't mean that they can hear you. Give them a big round of applause. Yeah. Now, Volunteers on stage, on the count of three, only on the count of three. You will sit up with your eyes tightly closed and find that you are a wonderful orchestra musician. Some of you playing large instruments like cellos, big basses. Some of you playing small instruments like piccolos, flutes, violins. You'll want to put on the performance of a lifetime. Playing that instrument with such life like you've never played before, on the count of three, reaching down beneath you, grabbing that imaginary instrument and propping it up 
One, two, three. Reaching down, sitting up, propping up that instrument. And as you hear the music begin to play, play that instrument. <laughs> you've never played before. And the more you play, and the better you play, the more into it you get. <laughs> Playing your instrument with such life. <laughs> So it's one of my first times in LA, so that's really exciting. 
And uh, yeah, it's new to me here to be able to perform at a college, especially after COVID. It's not, yeah, I don't know. It's new. I'm excited. So in Vegas, I've actually performed shows there. Not a lot of hypnosis during COVID because, like I said, there is mostly just magic because I couldn't use volunteers for a lot of COVID, obvious reasons. You know, obviously I can't be touching people with the Rona going around. So even with masks, it's not the same, you know. So I just waited to do hypnosis till after COVID. So uh, mostly, yeah, I guess I'm excited to be back. Doing hypnosis shows full time. Now that's really exciting. So doing that. Do perform magic in Vegas. I actually perform in a weekly show called Late Night Magic. But if you ever go to Vegas, have you guys been to Vegas before? Oh yeah, so they have some cool stuff and you guys obviously can't drink or gamble yet, which is fine. But they have other things there in Vegas to do. So they also have uh, you know lots of hiking, lots of restaurants. There's a really good Parisian place that's really good. If you get artichokes, you can like dip it in the aioli sauce and scrape it with your teeth. Um, excuse me, does somebody want to tell me what's going on? Um, excuse me, um, what's going on? Somebody's farting. <laughs> Why are you all looking at me? It's not me. It's not me. <laughs> well, if it's not you, who is it? Someone down there. Someone down there? It's, it's traveling with the wind. We're outside, right? Yeah, that's, yeah, what the heck, you guys? Rude. Someone down there? If you think you know who's farting, point to that person now. What? <laughs> On the count of three, that smell disappears. One, two, three. Everyone, their eyes are open. Make some noise. Oh. All right. So, Emery, do you know what Irish dancing is? Do you know river dance? Like, do, do a leprechaun dancing. Do you know how leprechauns dance? St. Patrick's Day? Do you? Yeah, I can show you, actually. That's my two truths and a lie, y'all. All right. So, you know, leprechaun dancing. Or do you guys not have Irish people in California? No Irish people? That's just a Chicago thing? Okay. Well, today, grab my hand here and sleep all the way down. Now, Emery, you will find that anytime you hear this next piece of music, dancing like I just did at any point in the show that that music plays no matter what is going on or no matter what you are doing anytime you hear that music you will immediately stand up with your eyes open and be a king Irish dancer all right <laughs> Revealing my age now, it's fine. All right, Brady. Um, let's see. Take a big breath of air in, inhale, and sleep all the way down. Now, Brady. Every time you are asked a question, the answer is always yes. No matter what, no matter what kind of question you are asked, something simple, something more direct, the answer to any question. That would require an answer. You always answer yes anytime. Nod your head yes if you understand what I'm saying. <laughs> Great, it works. And uh, let's see here. We've got uh, hmm. I'm gonna go down here to you, <laughs> Stevo. <laughs> All 
all the way down. Now, Steve-O, you will find that for the rest of tonight's show, your right foot is stuck to the ground. <laughs> the entire show, no matter what you are doing, that foot is always stuck to the ground. Stuck. All right. And then we have, hmm, MJ. Sleep all the way down. Now, MJ, anytime you are asked a question, the answer is always no. No matter what. The answer is always no. Anytime you are asked something that needs a response, your answer is always no. Do you understand what I'm saying? No. That's great. Let's see here. Now, person, I'm looking at here, Maya, Maya, and sleep. All the way down, Sky. Sleep. All right, and Lily. Sleep. And Ava. Sleep. All the way down. Now, those of you I just touched, anytime you hear the word microphone, you will immediately feel a jolt from your chair that will cause you to jump straight up in the air. It won't hurt you to the point of extreme pain, but it will surprise you, that's for sure. Anytime you hear the word microphone, feeling that jolt from your chair. All righty, let's see here, and we've got all the way down. Now, Autumn, anytime I say the name Autumn, you will find that your friend in the audience is picking their nose. Anytime I say your name Autumn, that friend in the audience is picking their nose. Now, you'll make it clear to them, since it is orientation and no one knows each other, that you will help them by telling them to stop. You don't want to embarrass them, but you'll make it very clear that they should not pick their nose in public. Alrighty, let's see here. And sleep and sleep all the way down. Leo and Zane. Anytime I say the name Leo and Zane, you will find that you smell a very, very, very good smell and it's coming from each other. <laughs> Anytime you hear the name Leo and Zane. Now, even though you're close, and even though COVID is bye-bye, you won't get all up in their shit. There it is. But you try your best to sneak a whiff, because that's what you want to do. All right, let's see here. And then we have a few more, and sleep all the way down. I'll come back to you. And... Sleep. What was your name? Eliza, right? Eliza and sleep all the way down. Now, Eliza, anytime you hear your name, Eliza, you will find that there is a bug crawling all over up and down these chairs. It's crawling all over anybody and everybody, but you are the only one that can see it. Anytime I say the name Eliza. All right. Now I'm coming back here. How are you doing? That's good. That's a plus. All right. Now we have Ainsley here. Now, Ainsley, you will find that any time you are asked your name Ainsley, even though you were born with that name and even though you're wearing a name tag, you just for some reason cannot remember your own name. No matter how many times you're asked, no matter how hard you try to remember, you can't seem to remember your own name. You're just completely stumped whenever you are asked that question. Nod your head yes if you understand what I'm saying. All right, right on, on the count of three. Everybody sitting up with their eyes open. One, two, three. All right, everybody. How's everyone doing? How are you, wait, over here. How are you doing? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes? All right, well, that's, our, I, that's affirmative, right? I mean, I guess, um, you know, we got a lot of people up here. Actually, this is a great group. This is a fun one to get into. We've got, um, you guys can hear me in the microphone, okay, right? No. <laughs> I didn't say it. Wait, what's going on? I just saw, I heard a bunch of people like stand up, kind of. What's going on over here? Wait, did you see them do that? No. <laughs> <laughs> but you're sitting right next to them. You didn't see them? <laughs> so you, 
can't possibly know what it is. <laughs> well, what's going on? I saw you two jump. You don't know? It hurt. It hurt? That's concerning. Does that normally happen? <laughs> well, do you know what's going on over here? Yes. What is it? Yes. <laughs> How are you down here? Do you know what's going on? But she doesn't. She said no. Well, what about you? Yes. <laughs> I don't. I don't even know. Yeah. So we got a great group here, and um, you know we had Emery before, and uh, we have all the way down to this end. We have Zane and Leo, which is fun. And uh, <laughs> yeah, excuse me, really quickly, because you're in the very end, so you're kind of off. So I want to actually ask you a few short questions, which is super easy. You probably have been asked. So it's fine. Um, do you want to come up here and maybe stand in the light here? So we have, uh, you know, you've probably been asked this before. You know, a super simple question, but extremely important. Are you ready for this? Yeah. yeah okay. <laughs> what is your name? <laughs> Maybe I can help you out a little bit. So, um, I don't know, there's a few people up there. Uh, Eliza was a name. I'm just trying to like make sure that I can jog some memory. So we had like Eliza, we had Emery, we had Ava, we had MJ, we had Leo, we had Zane, which is a cool name. That doesn't ring a bell, does it? No, it doesn't ring a bell? No. Okay, no, not? Hmm. Cool. Try one more time. Like, Maybe what's the first name that comes to mind? Say it in the microphone. You don't know? Well, that can't be your name. I don't know. Probably not. Probably not. That would make sense. Here, actually, you said, you, um, excuse me, do you know who, uh, do you remember what her name is? Yes. Yeah, here, do you want to help her? Actually, just tell her, um, what was her name again? Yes. That's not it. That's not it? You said you don't know, but you don't know it's that. Well, is there anybody else who might know it? Over here, excuse me. Do you know what her name is? <laughs> you know what, here, I've actually developed this great way to help you in the future remember your own name. So do you know the song, Happy Birthday? Yeah. Okay, so do you know it goes to be like, Happy Birthday to you, Happy Birthday to you, Happy Birthday, dear, and you get to that point in the song, you remember your name just one time. You know? Do you want to try it? Here, sing it in the microphone. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear. Ainsley. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, what was your name again? your seat as they give you guys a big round of applause.
Pull over, y'all. Everybody pull over. Yeah. If you have anything in the car that you should not have in the car, please get rid of it now. Ticket, which means that your insurance rates are about to go up. So I'm gonna come around and ask you guys a few questions. You all better be ready, because the police officer Ann Ross is about to come up in your window. All right, so let's see here. And uh, person I'm touching now, eyes open. All right, uh, excuse me, what's your name? Uh, Steven. Steven, okay, Steven. Uh, you seem stressed. Uh, how fast were you going? I was, I was going like five under the speed limit. Five under the speed limit? Why? What's going on there? Um, well, my foot, it wasn't, it just stopped moving. So I couldn't press down hard enough. So I was going, I, I, I can tell you, I was just, my foot just kind of fell asleep. Is that like a medical condition? Does that happen often? It's the first time it's ever happened. This is crazy. So five under because your foot just stopped, your foot stopped working. Yeah, I just, my foot just, yeah, I just wouldn't press the ignition. <laughs> so um, when the judge hears that, what do you think he's going to say? When, are you just going to go up there? What would you tell him exactly? I mean, I was listening to Taylor Swift. I was, I, I was kind of loud, I don't know. I, I, we'll see, I guess. Okay, so. All right. Well, I just saw something over here. Do you want to say in the microphone? What? 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 Are you okay? What's your name? How fast were you going? Where are you from? Wait, what is it? It's uh, it's 45 right here. <laughs> 40, maybe 42. I was <laughs> you were checking, but did you ever think to yourself, or did it start when you were driving? <sighs> You're stressing me. <laughs> Let's see here. Um, excuse me, what's your name, Miss? No. <laughs> Well, that would fly, I'm sure. Um, let's see here. Do you guys hear in the microphone? Um, um excuse me? Um, excuse me, uh, sir, here, person I'm touching now, eyes open. Um, Sir, what's your name? Yes. Yeah? Do you know how fast the speed limit is here? Yes. Well, what's the speed limit? I think he said it down there. What is it? Yes. <laughs> Do you know how fast you were going? Yes. Well, what, what, what was it then? Yes. <laughs> All right. You know, that's not helpful either. Um, you know, I don't know. Who else do we have? We've got we Leo and Zane. We already talked to them over here. And uh, <laughs> so we've got, uh, the person I'm touching now. Excuse me, miss. Uh, what's, how fast were you going? I just wasn't speeding. You just weren't speeding. Yeah. You just weren't. No. Well, do you have your license? <laughs> no. All right. Well, do you, can I at least have your name? What's your name? Hmm. My license would be able to tell me. Your license would be able to tell you. But you said you don't have it. Well, where is it? In my bag. It's in your bag. Okay, so you don't know how fast you were going and you don't know your name. I was going about 30. You were going about 30? Yeah. So that sounds like it's under the speed limit. Is your leg fine? My legs are good. Your leg's good. Not like that guy down there. <laughs> is your leg fine? Yes. <laughs> Excuse me, is your leg okay? His is fine because apparently there's something in the water up here in LA or something. Um, excuse me, is your leg fine? No. No. <laughs> All right, and sleep, MJ. Now you will find that for the rest of tonight's show, your leg is also stuck to the ground. <laughs> Very cool. Um, let's see here. Who else do we have? We had Autumn. Uh, we had. <laughs> what? Who are you talking to out there? Perla. <laughs> Who's Perla? Orange shirt. Orange shirt? Wait, what's she doing? Because there's a lot of people up there who don't really see what's going on. What, what is she doing? I told her to stop picking her boogers. 
Well, that's pretty unladylike orientation. All right, let's see. Everyone, take a big breath of air in and sleep. All the way down. All right, everybody on stage, on the count of three, only on the count of three, you'll sit up with your eyes open and find that once again you're on stage, but you pay very special attention to the light that I have in my hand. Now this light's been in view this entire time, and it has a very special effect now. One, it calls on people, two, it blinds them, but if you're up on stage, it puts you to sleep. If you are hit with the spotlight, that's what happens. On the count of three, sitting up with your eyes open. One, two, three. All right. How are you guys feeling? Is everybody pretty good? Leo, Zalman, pretty good? You guys can hear me in the microphone okay? You guys pretty good? Huh? Eliza? Are you Eliza? Is Eliza pretty good? You look concerned. What? Excuse me. <laughs> Actually, Autumn, we'll come back to you. Liliana, stop! <laughs> Leo? And Zana. Well, get up and move over there. You can't go very far. Do you want to try the spotlight? No? Here. Eliza, do you want to try? Here, come on up here. I'll even give the power to you. Try? No, it doesn't work on me. That's the answer. Why don't you get him? Try it on you. Did you lock it? Here, you may have locked it. Big round of applause, everybody. How are we on time right now? Keep going? All right. All right, everybody on stage, on the count of three, only on the count of three, you're going to sit up with your eyes open and find that even though COVID's gone, you're very good at using your mask because now your mask is the shoe that's on your foot. Oh. On the count of three, you're gonna sit up with your eyes open, take your shoe off, hold it to your nose and mouth and breathe because it is new, your new oxygen life-saving mask. On the count of three, you're gonna sit up, take that shoe off, hold it to your nose and mouth, but you're going to be doing this in slow motion. One, two, three, sitting up, eyes open, taking off your shoe, <laughs> holding it to your nose and mouth, and breathing. Because even though, <laughs> There's a gas leak on the building, and we're outside, but it's this weird sort of gas that travels through the air. Luckily, we'll all have ventilation because you have your masks on your feet, and because you're good at them because you've been using them for three years. So holding your nose and mouth and breathing. But you know, everybody here at Occidental College, you guys care about each other. So you will reach down after you've saved yourself and pull off the other mask that's on 
your other foot. Reaching down, pulling it off, and slowly making your way into the audience and saving a friend or a new classmate. That's right. <laughs> Going into the audience. Slow <laughs> motion. That's right. And if anybody wants to tag me on social media, and <laughs> being Rose Hypnosis, being conscious of the step, slowly. Being conscious of everybody, and as you make your way back towards the stage. That's right, making your way back towards the stage in slow motion. Making your way back, slowly but surely. After having saved some of your friends, being conscious of the step, Safely making your way back. already have one on you never left it all right how are they doing they're doing amazing make some noise if you're having a good time all right right on now there are a few people that i want to thank uh we had marcus do you guys all know marcus marcus thank you so much for having me in uh, i'd like to thank all of you guys for coming because even though we have the stars up here your energy makes them go wild. So thank you guys all for having a good time with me tonight. And then I just have two people that came here with me today. We have Greg and we have Rudy. Thank you so much for all your help because this is a psych zoo up here. So thank you guys so much. And now the most important people to thank, we have up here each and every one of our stars of the show tonight. Now next, I'm going to go down the line Everyone inhale and sleep. Everyone on stage. We have one more set here tonight. We're going to be having a little bit of fun, but this is our time to thank you as being stars of tonight's show. We couldn't have done it without you, literally. Now I'm going to go down to each and every person and shake your hand and thank you for coming up on stage tonight and being a star of tonight's show so you can get the applause that you deserve as an individual. But you will notice that as I'm shaking your hand, that handshake will tickle. That's right, but the moment I release my hand, the tickling will stop and all suggestions from tonight's show will be completely erased and you can head back to your seat, enjoy the rest of your night, and have a bomb ass year with all your friends here at Occidental College. Woo! Alrighty, on the count of three, everybody sitting up. Eyes open. One, two, three. All right. Very cool. So, uh, put her here, Autumn. Oh my God, Kelly, stop. <laughs> put her here. Autumn, 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 Wait, you good? Get back to your. I like your outfit. I feel like I'm in Clueless right now. 
Right? I just learned that today. Did you catch that? Yeah. All right, and we head up. Put her here. Zani, 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 He's off already. Put her here. You were awesome. You were great. <laughs> Leo was great, wasn't he? Yeah. Thank you. Okay, take a seat. All right. Now we had uh, MJ. You had fun tonight, right? No. <laughs> well, I guess. Just put her here. So you won't tell people about hypnosis? No. No. They have a good year here? No. <laughs> yes, you will, MJ. because you guys can uh, hear me in the microphone, right? And um, Eliza, you were great from the beginning. What? Excuse me, what's going on down here? What? There's a bug? Is that what's been biting them the whole time? And all over the chairs? Do you guys see the bug? You see it? That's what's been happening. Kill it. Wait, actually, it went this way. Sibo, kill it. It's over here. Kill it. You're missing it. Here. Use a tool. That's good. You know what? It's gone. Put her here. Liza was great. That's gone now. It's fine. Thank you, Liza. Are you guys glad that the bug is gone? Because that's what's been biting you this whole time. I don't know what kind of bugs you have in... Is it okay? Yeah. It's okay now, because Steve-O killed it with someone's shoe, which we lost. Woo. Someone down there. Okay, let's see. Over here? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Better than the bug! Everybody, we got Ava. We lost shoes. Put her here, Maya. You were great. Now that didn't work very much. That pulled right out of my hand. Thank you, Maya. Head back to your seat. And we've only got a few people left. We got one down here. You were so awesome, and just so they can all thank you appropriately. What was your name again so I can address this correctly? <laughs> I'm gonna get it. You're gonna get it? Here, why don't you try that technique that I told you? But put your hand here.